Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome to Coupon Club. So I recently got a request to do a video showing you guys how to use the DG Store pickup option. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna do an order through the DG Store pickup option. I'm gonna show you my screen through the whole process, walk you through the whole thing, and you'll even come with me to pick up the item in store. So the DG Store pickup option is only available in the DG Mobile app and it's really convenient. You can literally place an order right on your app and you can use your digital coupons. And after you place your order, you can also schedule the time to pick it up and then go in the store and you know just go ahead and pick it up whenever you're ready. So um, without wasting any more time, let's just go ahead and place this order. So this is actually the home screen of the Dollar General app. And as you can see, we can see the DG pickup option right here on the home screen. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're actually gonna be using that option. And the first thing we wanna do is actually go ahead and click that and you wanna choose the store that you guys wanna be picking up your products from. So once you found the store that you're gonna pick up your items from, you can go ahead and confirm that store. And then it's gonna give you the option to either reserve a pickup time now, or you can do it when you check out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that when I check out. And take a note right here, guys. It's also telling us that our minimum cart total needs to be at least $1. So remember, we need to spend at least $1. And other than that, not all of the items are gonna be available for DG pickup. So just keep that in mind while we're doing our deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to do this when I check out later. But now we're just gonna go ahead and search for the products that we want. So I already have a list of items which I wanna get. So first off, I wanna get some of the Lay's stacks because um, I know that we do have a digital coupon for those this week for $1.50 off of two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and search Lay's and find those. So here's some Lay's stacks right here. They're priced at a dollar each. And if I just scroll down a bit, you can see that I do have a digital coupon for a dollar 50 off of two. So in order to use this digital coupon, I do need to pick up two of these items. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna change the quantity right here to two. And then I'm gonna use this option right here which gives me the option to add to order. So you don't wanna to add to your list, you wanna to add to order. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And now you'll actually see down here in my cart option, now it's showing that I have two items in my cart. So if we go ahead and check out my cart, we'll actually see that those two items are my lace stacks. And check that out. These lace stacks, I'm actually getting both of them for just 50 cents. So that's awesome, two lace stacks for 50 cents. But 50 cents is less than a dollar. And remember, we need to spend at least a dollar. So I'm going to get some other stuff as well. Um, actually, also in my house, I also need some brown sugar. And I know we have a digital coupon for that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and search for some Clover Valley sugar. And here we are. This is the item I am looking for. It is the Clover Valley brown sugar, the two pound bag that is priced normally at $1.65 but because I have this digital coupon for 65 cents off, I'll be able to get this bag of brown sugar for just a dollar. So I also wanna add this to my order, and now we have three items in my cart, bringing my subtotal to a dollar 50. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed to checkout. So right now is actually gonna be when we enter in our payment information for all these items which we're buying. And if you see right here, it says currently we do not accept gift cards, EBT, or cash in the app. So um, that means that you do need to pay with a credit card if you want to do the DG Store pickup option. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter my credit card information. All right, so I've entered in my credit card information, and now it's just asking me when I want to pick up my item. So it says there's no more um, pickup available windows for today, so I'm going to go ahead and choose tomorrow instead. And it looks like I have every option available to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this option from 11 to noon, and I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And right now is going to be where I'm going to confirm my order and place my order. So my order hasn't been um, placed yet, but right now is just the last overview before we actually go ahead and place that order. So as we can see right here, I'm going to be paying just $1.50 for those two lace stacks and my brown sugar. So I am happy with that. And it's saying that my pickup time is going to be tomorrow between 11 and noon. So I am also good with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this order. All right, and there we go. Order successfully placed. 
So now it's just telling me a temporary authorization hold has been placed on your card for the estimated cart total at checkout. The final amount for the items you receive at pickup will be charged to your account and the temporary authorization hold will be reversed within a few days. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, got it. And now I am all set to pick up my items for tomorrow at 11 between noon. And actually, if you see right here, it brings me back to the Dollar General homepage. And if you have more than one Dollar General um, pickup option scheduled, you can actually scroll through and do your see your different pickup options. So if I actually want to place another order at another store, I could go ahead and do that and by just clicking here and doing the same process all over again. And if I wanted to go back and review my order, I again could just go back here and click view details. And this is the overview of my order. So I just scrolled down a little bit and here it's actually showing me all my items that I'm picking up, um, you know, the picture of them and the final price, the coupon coming off, you know, all that stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow when I go ahead and pick up my items. All right, so it is the next day now, and actually early this morning at 8.38, I got an email from Dollar Journal saying, hey, your order's ready to be picked up. So when I saw that email, I went ahead and I opened up my Dollar Journal app, and right up top is actually the order that I placed yesterday, and you can see in the top corner, it's saying ready to be picked up in green. So if you remember yesterday when we placed our order, that was actually gray and saying processing yesterday, but now we're ready to go pick it up. And actually just to confirm our order one last time, I'm just gonna go ahead and click order details. And by doing that, it's gonna tell me, okay, your order is ready. Thank you, grab your bags and go. Your order is on the shelf number above and it's telling me my order is on shelf number one. So when you do go into store to pick up your items, I believe there's four or five different shelves that your items can be placed on. But so you're not looking through all the different bags if there's more than one order, it tells you right here in the app what shelf your items are on. So mine are on shelf one, so I'm gonna keep that in mind when I go into the store. And then it's also showing us that there is a barcode there in case an associate needs to scan it. And then it's also confirming my pickup time between 11 and 12. And actually I did miss my, my pickup window. It's about like 1 p.m. right now, but that's okay. Dollar General's still gonna hold my items. So when I get there, they'll still be there as long as I get there by end of day today, you know? And if I scroll down a little bit more, it's gonna tell me my total, the products, and actually at the very, very bottom, there is a barcode which you would use in case you guys wanted to return any of the items that you're getting. So you're not gonna have a physical receipt. Instead, you're actually gonna have like a little mobile receipt and you would use this barcode at the bottom right here for the cashier to scan in case you guys wanted to do a return. So um, now that I know my products are on shelf one and ready for me to pick up, I'm gonna go on over to Dollar General and get my stuff. Okay, so here we are. Ooh. Uh, here we are at my local Dollar General store and now that I'm at the store all I need to do at this point is just look for the DG Go pickup area and it's always has like a big lime green thing on the top of it I can see it already over there in the back corner and actually I can already see my bag up there so um, yeah now all I need to do is walk over to this DG pickup section get my items and head out so it only looks like there's one bag up here and look at this um so it's in spot one exactly what the app said it would be in and it looks like i got my two lays and my sugar so i don't need to do anything else at this point i can just pick up my bag and head out of the store no need to talk to an associate or anything like that but if an associate does come up to you and does talk to you you can always just show them the order right in your dollar general app and remember there is a barcode right there in your app for them to scan just to verify your order you know just in case that happens but i was able to just go in pick up my items and leave so as easy as that you could order your items in the app and pick them up in the store so as you just saw the dg pick up and go feature is as easy as it sounds you literally just order on your phone and then whenever you're ready to go pick up you just go in walk in and walk out with all your items as you just saw i just got all of these things right here and they were waiting for me on the shelf when I got to the store. So I just walked in and walked out with my stuff. I didn't even talk to anybody. So it's an awesome feature which you guys can use if you're just looking to pick up stuff quickly, if you're not looking to spend time in store, but hey, you have time to spend, you know, while you're chilling on the couch, laying in bed or whatever, just placing an order on your phone using your digital coupons because this is actually a really good feature to use if you guys just wanna go in and quickly and stuff, like maybe on your break, especially if you wanna use the digital coupons, um, you know, while they're available because we just had a digital coupon for some Welch's juice, which was giving some 50 cents overage. And just like that, I think today or yesterday, it just stopped. 
So I was actually planning on doing a DG store pickup option with that Welch's juice with all of these to make my item, um, out of pocket just 50 cents cheaper. But um, I actually waited to do the video the next day. And because I waited the next day to do the video, um, the Welch's was no longer available. So because of that, I had to pay 50 cents more out of pocket for all of these items. So really I would have been able to get all three of these for a dollar if I had that coupon, but it is what it is. So it's a really great option if you guys want to get your overage things for free, if you're worried about them going out of stock, you know, whatever. Another great thing it's good for is actually when I was in store after I picked these up, I was like, all right, I want to use that lace coupon again, you know, while I'm here because it's a really good deal. And I just could not find these in the store like anywhere. I had no idea where they were. So I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm not going to waste my time walking around the store looking for these lays. I'm just going to place an order on my phone and pick it up when I'm back around so i literally did that i'm actually gonna go back to the store in a couple hours and go pick up a bunch of more um orders that i placed because i got way more lays so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this and you now know how to use the dg go pickup option if you did like this video show me by giving a big thumbs up down below and if you have any other video suggestions drop those in the comment section all right guys thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video and hopefully i'll see you guys next time